Hey guys, so Love Meg is one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. She is just so inspirational, but also really down-to-earth and sweet, so I really wanted to try and follow one of her YouTube videos for you guys today. I am following her August Ultimate Clean With Me, and it was definitely ultimate. We did a lot of stuff today, guys, a lot of cleaning and organizing, and she really inspired me to clean things that I would not normally clean, so it was a really good experience, and I'm excited to share it with you. We are starting in my bedroom, which is totally out of my comfort zone, but that's where Meg usually starts and where she started in her August Ultimate Clean with me, so that's where we're starting today. She mentions in her video that she likes to start in her room because it's kind of like doing your makeup and getting ready for the day, just having your bed made, and your room clean is just a good start. I also, as you can see, did some little lint rolling with my pillows. She did that after she cleaned her room in a different part of her house. I wasn't sure where it was and I don't have that part of her house, so my house, so <laughs> I just did it in my room and it actually helped a ton. Um, the stuff you see by my bed really is telling of who I am, chapstick and the LaCroix drinks, but anyway. So I cleaned up my nightstand. Something I love about Love Meg is that she also usually has a book on her nightstand. And I'm not going to lie guys, I have like 50 books below my nightstand, but I always have at least one on it. <laughs> And there you have it. Her room is a lot cuter and decorated way better than mine. My room is actually my least favorite room in our house as far as decorating wise. It's just like the last thing that I have done. There are a lot of things I want to change in there, but that's okay. That's okay. We're done in there and we're moving on to my toddler's room. She cleaned her kid's room. They share bunk beds. And she actually mentioned that she was ready to be done with the bunk beds and when they move she is going to get rid of them, which I was really surprised because I have been considering getting bunk beds for my oldest. So I will be interested to see why she doesn't like their bunk beds. But anyway, she just kind of tidied up their beds and picked up some of their stuffed animals and stuff. So I had some cleaning to do in this guy's room, just organizing his toys. So that's what I did. Before we go on with the video guys, I wanted to quickly mention a company I have shared with you guys before and that is FilterJoy. It is a subscription service that delivers a filter to your door every two months and it's amazing you guys. We are always forgetting to change out our filter so to just have a filter come to our door it is just a fantastic reminder. They also give you fun little treats in there for your dog as well as like a beach ball or some kind of fun toy which is always exciting for the kids so if you want to try it out just click the link in my description box and you will get your first filter for free to me this is just a no-brainer because it's the same price as if you were to go to the store and remember what size you need and remember to even change the filter at all it's just delivered right to your door and it makes life so much easier so definitely go give it a try the next spot she cleaned is her master bathroom, so I went ahead and started cleaning mine. My house is a lot messier than hers, as you will see throughout this video. She did not have stuff everywhere like we do, so I should probably strive to be a little bit cleaner on a daily basis. Our house was like extra messy this day, but you know. So I had to pick some things up that she did not have to. But then I cleaned the mirror. She did mention that she hadn't wiped down their mirror in like a month. So that gave me a little bit of hope that I'm not like a total slob <laughs> compared to her. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know. So I am just cleaning the countertops and the sinks, just do doing the usual old thing. The cat 
I decided to just kind of randomly wipe down my skincare stuff and get it a little bit more organized. So I don't think Meg did this, but she did have things very organized and put together in her video. So I thought I would just throw this in there. Meg's shower was just that, just a shower. We, when we renovated, did consider doing just a shower, but my husband really likes to take baths, so we decided to just make it a shower slash bath. Um, but I'm actually using this Method bathroom cleaner. Meg tells you guys what cleaner she's using a lot more often than I do, so I should probably try and implement that into my videos a little bit. But yeah, I do like this bathroom cleaner. Next, Meg cleaned up underneath her bathroom sink, but you guys, you do not want to see in there right now. It is a huge mess. It's not just slightly unorganized. It's a disaster, so that will be in a future video because I have been planning on getting that area under control very soon. So instead of doing what she did and cleaning up under the sink, I just decided to clean the cabinets because since they are white, they could always use a good wipe down. Next, Meg unloaded her dishwasher, which this actually made me feel a little bit better about our kitchen being a disaster because she said that normally she unloads the dishwasher in the morning, but for some reason she didn't that day. So that is the same for me. I do have to say normally I unload it in the morning because if you don't, then as you can see, your sink gets filled with dirty dishes. So that is normally what I do, but we had a very busy day this day rushing to and from lots of different places so I just didn't get the chance to do it so I'm doing it now just like Meg did <laughs> Meg cleaned out her microwave. She said that they had a spill in there, so she had some serious cleaning to do. Ours was not that bad, but it was definitely dirty, so I was glad for the reminder to clean it up and make it look nice because there's nothing grosser than a dirty microwave. You know what I mean? Like It just feels like a clean kitchen when you have a clean microwave. Now I'm just going to pick up a little around here. Meg's house was not this dirty. <laughs> I will say once again, my house is much dirtier than hers, unfortunately. So I had a few extra steps that I had to take before I wiped down the countertops like she did. So that's what we're doing. We're picking things up. We're working with what we got, people.
So something that Meg does throughout her video is she uses essential oils and a lot of candles and fun stuff like that. We didn't have essential oils, we didn't have a lot of candles, but we had this one candle right there. So I lit it and I felt very proud of myself. <laughs> Another thing that I noticed that she did was she really focused on the edges of her countertops when she was wiping them down. And I thought that was such a good reminder because a lot of times I just get lazy and I just wipe the top and I don't really focus on those edges and they can actually acquire a lot of dirt and just look kind of dirty so it was a good reminder to wipe that part down. The next thing she did was clean up underneath her sink, which I am so glad that she did this. I really, really needed to get this done and I was just putting it off or I would just forget about it. And it was just something that had been on my list for a long time. So I was so grateful to get that reminder from her video and to just spend some time really wiping that area down because it can get pretty dirty. And then just kind of reorganizing it, taking some things out that should be in the bathroom, throwing away some things pouring things together so it's just like one bottle as, a, as opposed to multiple so this was just a really good thing to do and now every time I go underneath my sink which is multiple times a day it just feels good and it's just easy to get to things so I was so happy that she did this and that encouraged me to do it too now I'm very sad to show this to you guys, but she showed all of the dirt next to her stools and we happen to have a lot of dog hair next to ours. This is what happens guys when you don't vacuum for like a day or two and you have a German Shepherd. It just gets disgusting. So I, in part of me, likes that she showed this and that encouraged me to show it to you guys too because maybe you wouldn't realize what I was cleaning and how dirty it actually is. Uh, so yeah, definitely not just vacuuming nothing in this area. There is some serious dog hair. This is like the worst part. For some reason, the dog hair just loves to collect right next to the stools. I don't know why, but it is a struggle. Normally, we move the stools and we use our little robot vacuum at night and that helps a lot, but apparently we hadn't done that in a couple of nights. The next thing she did was just vacuum up her living room. I had a few extra steps because our house was extra messy, so I decided to vacuum our couch. Guys, this couch, the material is just not family friendly, not dog friendly, it's just, it's rough. It needs to be vacuumed like six times a day. I'm not even joking. It probably could be vacuumed like three times a day if you wanted it to look clean. <laughs> but anyway, I also put my first fall pillow up. Oh, I'm so excited. Who's excited for fall, guys? I'm excited for fall, even though it's still like 90 degrees here where we live. But anywho, I picked up a little bit and then I finally got to vacuuming. My little toddler loves to help, so he was trying to help. And of course, my German Shepherd Lily just follows me around the whole time. If you've watched quite a few of my cleaning videos, you know that she is just like my little shadow and she follows me everywhere I go, which is so sweet. She actually has an ear infection in both of her ears right now, so please send up some prayers for our sweet Lily to heal and start to feel better very soon because we just feel so bad for her. Of course, Love Meg did not have tons of homeschool stuff out, even though they do homeschool. I guess they're hiring a teacher this year, but they do homeschool like us, which I think is cool. I feel like Meg and I could totally be BFFs and that we have a lot in common, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, so picked that up and then I also picked up all of the toys that we have everywhere, try to get things a little bit more organized, and then I finally got to vacuum like Meg did. <laughs> And that was the end of her cleaning. She did also add a little Q&A at the end while she folded some laundry. I decided against that because 
I don't know, I just didn't feel like I had as many questions as Meg does at the moment, so I decided to pass on that. However, if you guys do have questions for me, you can always ask them in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. Please go let Meg know that I made this video. That would mean a lot to me. Maybe she could see it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it would mean a lot also if you would subscribe and click the little bell to be notified when I post a video, and I will see you next time. Bye.